Well, we're going to the races tomorrow. This is the crew for tomorrow, and uh, it's Friday night. We're dolling up the saws. We're getting uh, getting them 100% dialed in. There was a couple things that went wrong. Um, Teddy's uh, 391, we ended up actually putting a sprocket on instead of, um, can't remember the terminology for that right now there, but uh, the ones that you can't change the sprockets anyhow. So we changed that around. I think he's gonna be running an eight tooth on his 391 stock with a muffler mod. And uh, we're just dolling up a couple more chains just in case we hit anything and uh, getting them set in. We had a little bit of a test night again, but uh, I forgot to put the video on, so sorry about that, my apologies. And um, the 305 that you guys are gonna see in the video is in a little bit of a rush to get that going. So I have no content on that, so. But you'll see it run. Um, I have a, a little bit of content for you for that one, but not not a whole lot. I should have done more. But um, that's the, the collection of them. Well, some of them. And um, that's his uh, 461, I believe, eh, Matt? Yes, sir. Yeah, 461. Uh, 441, the one that uh, Teddy's working on right now, I think. Oh. And then uh, Joel's uh, just touching up some chains with the grinder. So. I'll uh, make some video tomorrow for uh, for the actual competition, and I'll I'll put it in there. All right, see you then. Have to uh, get uh, Matt's sharpening in here. Hold on, which one is it there? Let's uh, focus in here so I can really really see what's going on here. Oh, look at that! This is uh, this is Matt's file and jobs, but we still have to cut the back side of the tooth. But that's. Uh, that's a sharp tooth, but I'll show you what I mean. See, those are those are the race chains. We still have to cut the back of the tooth there. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> but that's what she looks like. Look at that. Look at that. Wicked. You want some chains filed? Matt yeah. does them two dollars a chain. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's about uh, seven in the morning. Uh, we're just loading loading up there. I'll go through it a little bit. Had uh oof, had a couple cold snacks last night. Not a good idea. Feeling it feeling it this morning for sure. 100 percent feeling it. Uh, oof. Oh god. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a long day, but it's gonna be a fun day. Um, we're just packing up there, we're waiting for waiting for the other lads to show up and then uh we're hitting the road. We'll uh, probably stop uh, at a Tim Hortons there, get a coffee, and uh, that'll be it for us. But uh, look at that. Look at how dialed we are. Yeah, absolutely dialed. Yeah, should be a good day. So, I don't know. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't know how well. Uh, my footage will be there for today. I don't. I don't know if I'll be talking a whole lot, but um, these are what's going to be running. I'll try to get videos of all of them running, so you guys have some good content. All righty. Oh, well, we made it to the races. Let's see if I can get a good image here. The old buck saw going. Oh, we got all the boys here. Say hi. <laughs> At the races. Just, just met these guys. They're piped and tuned. And they're dialed, these guys. They're wicked. a fast song.
Come on there, Teddy, put in some good numbers for us. <laughs> Matt's up with the ported 271. That thing's a loud saw. Too bad we're in open class, because uh, we're not going to make it in open, but... That was quick. Theo's up there now, Teddy. I believe it's a 441. Matt's up with the 461. Okay, finally got a day off, having my coffee. Uh, here's just started, so probably see my breath it's a little chilly in here but uh, let's go over the chain of events that happened you guys are watching the video this is the race video so uh, a little bit later it's uh, what uh, Wednesday today I probably won't have this up until tomorrow so it'll be Thursday so what five days later six days later whatever how many days it is um, we didn't necessarily mess up like um, it was all right um, this event was, uh, was a lot of French, right? So I don't speak a lot of French. I understand a little about, bit of it. I know I should probably learn more French. Of course I, you know, go into these, uh, Quebec events and stuff for sure. Um, we didn't know that this was going to be a stock modified class. All the classes were all stock, but, uh, or stock appearance, but modified. So these, these saws were animals, absolute animals. Um, all of my saws, even the, well, a lot of the guys' saws that you've seen too, uh, a lot of them reported or have a muffler mod, stuff like that. So we kind of misunderstood that we couldn't put them into the stock classes, but stock appearance. So we ended up having to put them all in modified, which, uh, our ETAs did not did not match anybody else's modifieds because our modified class was uh, I think it was only the 305 pooling that was that made it into the original class uh, and actually my XL I think and my XL in the stock class made the best numbers uh, because that is uh, that let's erase all that one and uh, anyhow but uh, three cuts I think it was uh, I think it was five five and a half seconds I think if I'm not mistaken three cuts you know I'll have to ask around for that one I forget exactly but I think it was somewhere around that neighborhood um, but yeah all our stock all our saws ended up into um, pretty near modified class well I'm pretty sure almost all of them did except for two or three maybe and uh, yeah we couldn't we couldn't keep up with the, with the 2100 huskies there at, uh, 3120s the uh, 572s, 562s, like this one there, like those saws were 
were nuts. They were animals, absolute animals. Um, as soon as that first saw went up, it was a zero to 30 class first. As soon as that first saw went up, we, I knew like, it was like a 170, MS 170 uh, body, but it had like a 230, uh, 230 uh, motor in it or something like that. You know, it wasn't actually 30 cc's. There's no way. Um, but they were all running on uh, regular fuel. That was the only thing. Um, the only uh, fuel that changed was in the modified classes. In uh, the stock appearance class, uh, we all had to run the same fuel, which that was all right. There was there was a couple cheaters. There was a couple cheaters. You know, they'd they'd wrap up a whole bunch of fuel lines, so then a lot of that fuel would stay there until they did their first couple of cuts, and then that their their fuel would go through a line because you could smell it. it was, there was BP. There was. Uh, a little bit of nitro and a couple of the saws you can you can tell they were cheating you know but uh so be it you know there's always there's always a couple people like that but um my team well the group that i went with and there was a couple other guys that they were we were we were the honest ones that uh we didn't didn't cheat at all and we actually messed up i messed up and uh our translator well i had a, uh, our friend joel he speaks French and uh, Matthew, but uh, I guess we misunderstood anyhow, and uh, most of our saws ended up into the uh, modified class. But uh, overall, it was a good day, really, really good day. Um, I will apologize for the footage. I didn't get a whole lot of footage because it was very, very fast. Um, the, well, the saws were fast, of course, but um, they would line three people up. But by the time the third guy. Um, picked up his saw and went there like it was already here's turn so um, I couldn't really videotape all that much because I was uh, trying to keep some of the saws warm as well um, just because I don't like uh, I don't like to run my saws like uh, well it was cold that day as well so um, you run a saw cold and you just go wide open right away that's no bueno I don't like that so um, all of our saws were just work port saws they weren't uh, there was no cookie cutters that I brought, um, but I know for I know for next year for this for this one um, that it's stock appearance. So I've already started another saw. Well, that that 562, I got the approval from the other lad there to turn that into a full cookie cutter, full on cookie cutter. So uh, that's what that saw is going to be, but stock appearance cookie cutter. So we'll get that uh, we'll get that fired up. And then uh, I'm doing a cut top. The cut top is, uh, she's going to be in there as well, but stock appearance, of course. And uh, this home light here, actually, that's going to be stock appearance, but uh, probably run on uh, the nitro, nitro fuel, either uh, 15, 20, 30 percent. I don't know yet. We'll have to get to that and we'll have to uh, burrow the carburetor for that. Sorry, it's a little... Oof. A little chilly in here. I should rub my coat out, but so be it. Beautiful, beautiful sunny day today. So um, I pulled out another couple of saws now too. And these are some old saws that I had kicking around. There's a 455 Rancher, and it's going to go into a 435 body. As long as it's stock appearance, it doesn't matter because there was a lot of guys there that were running. Uh, um like 55 huskies or uh no not sorry uh 50 50 61 61 huskies and uh they were all running 272 top ends uh there was the uh 371 372 they were running uh, like 395 top ends on them like uh oh yeah no it was but they look stock they looked 100 percent stock the mufflers yeah the mufflers were cut open um we realized after our our mufflers probably could have uh, could have worked too. We just have a couple pipes there coming out the side, whatever. But uh, I guess whatever we asked, we kind of uh, we had a little bit of a mistranslation type of thing because asked if uh, we can run our pipe saws, but uh, they were probably thinking of like you know the the big tune pipes. But anyhow, doesn't matter. We had fun. We know what, we know what, we know what to expect for for that race uh, next year. Um, we didn't have anything for the zero to 30 class, so I'm gonna to try to make one for zero to 30. 
but other than that we had saws for all the classes but we didn't run them in all the classes of course because uh we ended up putting them in a modified i already said that but uh yeah that's uh that's the deal so we're gonna make i'm gonna make that cut top uh for the stock appearance and i already have my base lined up as well this is a i think oh, i'll tell you right now 272 xp uh base and crank and all that but i'm gonna put this is gonna be a reed saw cut top and uh, it's gonna be running in stock appearance this one this is that's gonna be a full-on cookie cookie cutter um honestly i don't i don't really have any cookie cutters um i have one i believe one cookie cutter but i wasn't running i didn't have it running for that race because i i just didn't do it i would did i've it's a uh, i think it's in my other shed there but um i didn't have it running for this race because it's uh it's only a 50 cc but uh, it's almost stock appearance. Like if I change the muffler on it, it's it, it'll look stock appearance. Yeah, there's a hole in the cover for it, but uh, I should have brought that, but I, I didn't. It cuts pretty good. <clears throat> Sorry. But yeah, anyhow, that's uh, this was the races. So I apologize for, for the footage. I should have made more footage. Um, there was one lad that didn't actually, Joel, he didn't run any of his saws. Um, just because I don't know, I don't know why he didn't, but, uh, he could have filmed more. So, uh, I do apologize about that, but overall it was a great day. And, uh, if you guys see that, that, uh, I think it was a 562 Husk of Iron, the last or the yeah, fifth generation or that saw was fast, fast. That was stock class, uh, two cuts. It was, uh, like 2.1 seconds or something like that two cuts like that's that's a fast saw but uh that guy there what i was told i got told this uh yesterday i believe i was talking to that another lad that usually goes he's the one that told me about this race he said uh that guy there he uh they all run uh, well he runs all 500 series and uh he paid like anywhere from uh, three to five thousand dollars to get those saws done to me that's you know you're going to a social event like that's not uh it's not a still timber sports event uh like the maximum you win is like i think this time was like a hundred and some dollars per class or something like that but um some of them races that you do you you get up to about a thousand dollars or whatever but i mean to, for me if you're gonna pay somebody uh three to five thousand dollars to build a saw for you and you don't even file your own chain I don't know. I, you can you can you take pride in that? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. But anyhow, we're gonna get some uh, we're gonna get some cookie cutters going here, and uh, some nitro saws stuff like that. But uh, I'll still be doing I'll still be doing the uh, the work parts for sure. I I have a lot of customers that I do work parts for all the time, and uh, we're gonna dive into the cookie cutters so stay tuned for that and uh i have a couple ideas in my head there already so um a couple ideas that i've had for a while and uh get you in on it and make a couple videos all right thanks guys have a good one